Hey guys, this is Miss Brooks here. Um, miss you guys. I hope you're all safe. Uh, continue to um, practice social distancing and all the things that the CDC has asked you to do. Stay safe. Miss Brooks has put together a little lesson on measurement. I chose measurement because uh, that's the first thing in the SES comprehensive packet. And I just wanted to make sure that you all were um, aware of what you were supposed to do. And I wanted to remind you of some of the things that we've already done. All right, so give me a minute so I can share with you. All right, this is the uh, PowerPoint I put together. I hope you can see it. Uh, I want to start the slideshow from the beginning. All right, like I said, this is for the week of May 4th through 8th. All right, our agenda for today is the fluency activity. Um, which I got from YouTube. Um, also, I have a few measurement videos and then we're gonna go over the SES comprehensive packet. And then at the end, I'll have comments and reminders. But one of the things that I want to tell you now is if you do not have my uh, SES uh, email, it's listed on this screen as brooksdb2 at scsk12.org. Please feel free to reach out to me um, whenever you need to. All right, and for this little activity, I need everybody to stand up, make sure you have a little room. I just wanted to exercise our brain for a minute. So if you just stand up and we're going to work out and count, we'll be skip counting by twos, fives, tens, and even ones counting backwards. Okay, I hope you're ready. Oh, 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 sorry, I gotta go back. I've got to go back. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong button. Okay. Like I said, you know this is all new to me. Okay. Current slide. Let's see if this works. No. All right, I'm just going to fast forward to get back to where I need to be. All right, everybody get up, and get ready. Let's go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Technical difficulties. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
Keep it going. 40, 45, 50. Stretch out, arms length now. Count by size from 55. Workout and count. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Good job, keep going. Let's do cha cha cha, stretch and clap now. Count by twos, work out and count. Two, four, cha cha cha, six, eight, cha cha cha, ten, twelve, cha cha cha, fourteen, sixteen, cha cha cha, eighteen, twenty, cha cha cha. Let's do arm circles, forward and backward now. Count by tens, work out and count. Forward. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, backward, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Shake it loose, reach it up, stretch it out, let's go. Work out and count, bend it down, pass it over, let's it out, let's go. Work out and count. Let's do scissors, crisscross now. Count by twos from 52, work out and count. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70. Let's do washing machines, twist right and left now. Count by odd numbers, work out and count. One, three. Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. Let's do arm curls. Work your biceps now. Count down by ones from forty nine. Work out and count. Forty nine, forty eight, forty seven, forty six, forty five, forty four, forty three, forty two, forty one, forty. None. Jog in place. Work your cardiac muscle now. Count by twos from 82. Work out and count. 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. I'm shaking loose. Let's go. Work out and count. Bend it down. Pass it over. Let's it out. Let's go. Work out and count. Okay. I just wanted to give you a little. Let's be a little. Um, blood pump into the brain before we get started on our next activity okay we're kind of frozen screen's kind of frozen there we go all right the next thing that i want to do i'm going to stop sharing this for just a minute all right now i want to share something else all right we are working on uh, let's see this one here we go all right this is a video on using non-standard units um, we use this at the beginning of the year when we were uh, working with centimeters and remember making our centimeter ruler how long was our centimeter ruler all right, it was a hundred centimeters. And we know that a hundred centimeters is equal to one meter. All right, and before we did that, we were working with non-standard units. So this is just a little reminder. So if you watch it. I have a brand new telescope, but I don't have a case for it. My friend is at the store and wants to know what size I need, but I don't have a ruler and neither does she. How can we figure out what size carrying case we need for the telescope, small, medium, or large? In this lesson, you will learn how to measure by using smaller, equally sized objects. 
You already know how to compare the size of an object to another object, like a block, paperclip, or even your finger. These are objects you can use as non-standard units of length. One common misunderstanding is thinking you can measure things using objects that aren't the same size, like this. So it isn't really accurate to say that this frame is four paper clips long because one of the paper clips is larger than the others. Let's use crayons to find the length of the longer side of this math journal. We'll use brand new crayons so they'll all be the same size. They also have to have ends touching with no space between them and no overlapping and they have to be in a straight line. So the length of this note Remember, no gaps, no overlaps. Long. Now let's try it with paper clips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's check. Objects the same size? Check. Ends touching? Check. check. No overlapping? Check. In a straight line? Check. So it's seven paper clips long. We can use the same steps to measure the ladybug picture with blocks. One, two, three, four, five blocks long. No matter what you're measuring, the smaller the object you're using as your unit of measure, the more of them you will need. Eight paper clips. The larger the object you're using, the fewer you will need. So it will take three crayons or less than two big feet. <laughs> Back to my telescope. How can we decide which carrying case will be the best fit? Now crayons are larger than paper clips. It takes four crayons to measure the same length as nine paper clips. So if my friend can find a crayon or a paper clip, she can find the perfect case for me. In this lesson, you have learned how to measure by using smaller, equally sized objects. Good job. Good job. Okay, I hope that jogged your memory of what we have worked on uh, in the past. Uh, the next video is measuring with one inch length units. And in the PowerPoint, if, if uh, you need to, um, you have a um, URL that you can go to this um, website yourself, or you can log into LearnZillion and look at these different items. How can you measure by using inch length units? The book order is coming soon. All the books are different heights, but each book is exactly one inch wide. How will we know how many will fit on the bookshelf? In this lesson, you will learn how to measure by using inch length units. You already know how to measure using non-standard units like crayons and paper clips. You also know that the smaller a unit of measure is, the more of them you will need. Remember, the units need to be in a straight line. A common misunderstanding is leaving space between units or overlapping them. Sometimes this is done to make the line of units match the end of what is being measured. This dollar bill is not six paper clips long. You can use lots of things for inch length units, but they have to be exactly one inch. Some paper clips and stamps are exactly one inch, and a U.S. quarter is very close. Today, we will use inch tiles. This is how you use inch tiles or any inch length unit to measure the dollar bill. To begin, make sure the first tile is lined up with the edge of the object you're measuring. Next, place the tiles in a straight line with the ends touching. You won't have to worry about overlapping these. The dollar bill is six inch length units long. We can measure this kaleidoscope with the same row of tiles. Don't worry if the line of tiles is longer or shorter than the object. That's when you use your estimation skills. The end of the kaleidoscope is closer to the end of the fifth tile than the sixth. So the kaleidoscope is closer to five inches than six inches. To figure out how many books fit on the shelf, we use the inch tiles to measure the edge of the inside of the shelf where the books go. We place the tiles end to end and count them. 
there are 12 inch tiles and each book is also one inch thick. So we can fit 12 books on the shelf. In this lesson, you have learned how to measure by using inch length units. Okay, we're gonna stop sharing that one and we're gonna go back to the PowerPoint. Uh, just like I told you, here is the web address. Uh, if you want to revisit the measurement of non-standard units. And the next slide has the web address for measuring with inch length units. Okay, now we want to look at the comprehensive packet that you all were given from SES. If you did not get to pick up the packet, uh, it's also listed online and you can um, download it and print it off. Uh, if you can't, maybe someone in your family will do it for you. But this has lesson 16 at the top, understanding length and measurement tools. And the prerequisite says, how do you measure length correctly? And what did we hear in the video? We heard no gaps, no overlaps, and line everything up in a straight line, sides touching. All right, here's an example. Lev says this string is three paper clips long. Do you agree? Why or why not? Well, I see that the paper clips, they did not start at the edge. The string needs to be placed at the edge of the first paper clip, not in the middle. All right, so let's look at number one. Juan used these paper clips to measure the pencil. What did he do wrong? Look closely. We saw this in one of the videos. What did, what did Juan do wrong? Can you put that in a sentence? Hmm, did he use all the same sized objects? Look closely. All right, number two, Callie says this ribbon is four paper clips long. Do you agree? What did Callie do wrong? What do you see? Do you see gaps, overlaps? Can you put that in a sentence? Remember, refer back to the question when you write your sentence. Okay, Jill says this marker is six tiles long. Do you agree? Look at it closely. You would say, yes, I agree. Or no, I do not agree. And then you tell why. Four, Sean says this crayon is seven tiles long. Hmm, are those tiles in a straight line? Do they have sides touching? Do they have gaps or overlaps? So do you really think it's seven tiles long? Write your sentence. Yes, I agree. No, I do not agree. And then be sure and tell why. All right, number five says circle the picture that shows the correct way to measure the string. Now think about what we talked about. Remember, we have to start at the beginning. Our, what we measure with has to be in a straight line. There cannot be any gaps or overlaps. Which one looks accurate? Find it and circle it. All right. Study the example. We're measuring with tiles and rulers. We got to see that on our um, video. 
from Lone Zillion. We're gonna measure with tiles and rulers. Study the example showing how to measure with tiles and rulers, then solve problems one through seven. What is the length of the crayon? Ah, here we have centimeter tiles. Remember playing with the centimeter tiles and measuring with the centimeter tiles? All right, we have a crayon. Let, can we count the centimeter tiles? How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five centimeter tiles. Now look below the crayon. We have a centimeter ruler. Now where did we start measuring? Remember we always start with zero. If we see it on the ruler and if the zero, it, the number zero is not written, on the ruler, then we know we start at the edge of the ruler. So here, our centimeter ruler is five centimeters. All right, great. So number one, Kai used one centimeter tiles to measure the length of a piece of string. How many tiles did he use? All right, uh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. All right, number two. Each tile is one centimeter long. So what would be the length of the string? And then Kai used the centimeter ruler to check the length. What, uh, what is the length? Let's look at the centimeter ruler. All of this should be review for you. We worked on centimeter rulers for a while. Oh, let me see if I can go back. I need to go back to the last page. Sorry about that, guys. Um, real quick. <laughs> I'm real quick about pushing buttons. I guess I could take after my students. Okay, let's look at number four. Emma used one inch tiles to measure. Now we're talking about inches. Emma used one inch tiles to measure the length of the yarn. How many tiles did she use? Count those tiles. Number five, each tile is one inch long. What is the length of the yarn? Remember, we were measuring using inch tiles. So how many inches long is our yarn? Number six, then Emma used an inch ruler to check the length. Okay, so the, where does the yarn start? Does the yarn start at zero? It starts at zero and it stops at four. So what is the length of the yarn? Number seven, Gus used one inch tiles and a ruler to measure the length of the pencil below. What is the length of the pencil? Measure the inch, count the inch tiles and then look be beneath at the ruler to find the measurement. How many inches? What is the length of the pencil? Okay, I, we did the first four pages of the comprehensive packet and I hope that you continue to work on it. If you have any questions, remember refer back to my SES email address, brooksdb2 at sesk12.org. And guys, please log into iReady every week, every week, please, and get at least 45 minutes in math and also it wouldn't hurt for you to get 45 minutes in reading all right i want you to continue learning um i think about you all all the time and i hate it that we're not in class so i'm just you know continue to work on the ses packets log into iReady weekly and we have a new platform called discovery education i want you to get on there and explore it 
um, discovery can be found on Clever. Uh, so the same way you log into iReady is the same way that you get to Discovery Education. Go into Clever, you will see an icon that says Discovery Education. Get on there. It has videos. You can go on virtual field trips. There's a lot of fun things on there. Uh, you can find out more about measurement. If I did not answer all of your questions today, you can find those uh, answers on Discovery Education. All right. And boys and girls, continue to practice your math facts. You're going to really need that next year. All right, uh, let me stop the screen share. Okay, here I am, I'm back. <laughs> okay, I enjoyed you all today. I wish I could see your faces. I miss you all um, and everything about you. I miss being at school. So I'll be back weekly with another little math lesson. Um, I, and I'm going to follow along with the comprehensive packet. So uh, if you have any questions about a particular item, you can either call me, you can uh, use my email address, just whatever you need to do. And it's a beautiful day outside. I hope you get to enjoy some of the sunlight. And I look forward to seeing you soon. All right, that's it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it a great day uh oh we're gonna make it a great day and have a great time thank you bye-bye